It's really a case of, oh no, not again, lost interest. Is it brand new 40 times 40? There's another disaster looming. <laughs> I know you can't help but giggle, can you? There is another disaster looming, though, for the former royals known as Harry and Meghan. As ever, though, let me explain. Good to see you this morning, or good evening, whatever you're doing. I know a lot of people say to me, Neil, I'm literally going to bed at this point in the, in the day. You know, Well, we all are, aren't we, at some point in the day during the world? You see, that's what you learned at school, didn't you? You learned that you know, the world spins round, and well, some people are getting up, some people are going to bed. Some people get up and feel like they should still be in bed. You know, the sort of thing. You know, a colleague of mine said recently, and I thought this was so true, I don't know if you find this. They said, you know, Neil, sometimes I get up and I feel more tired than when I went to bed and I thought actually that's quite true isn't it why do you wake up more exhausted than when you went to bed I don't know if you know the answer to that one do let me know and also have you noticed the minute you get comfortable is the minute the alarm goes off have you noticed that I had that the other night could not get comfortable and then the, I thought oh lovely and then the alarm goes you think, oh no you know and then you're sort of pondering aren't you another 10 minutes just to rest all this up the ears. you see this is why we all get on so well we're all the same in the end. We'll have a quick wave. Sorry, I'm, I'm losing the plot. Anyway, nice to see you today. Whatever you're doing, do keep safe and well. Now, back to your royal story. This was a bit of a revelation, as one can imagine, because on this brand new website for Harry and Meghan, what could be forgiven for thinking that they may have put some effort in? And, you know, I've often said this before on a serious note. They don't seem to care about the people that have paid them millions of pounds. You know, when you think about it, Harry did the very limits of PR when you think for spare. Perhaps he didn't need it. It was proven in the sales. Maybe I'm wrong. But he didn't exactly put a lot of effort in, you know. No book signings, no meet and greets or anything like that, which was what Penguin Random House were literally hoping for. And they could have sold a lot more books had he bothered to do that. But there you go. But what was fascinating on this rebranding was, you know, basically, you know, how they didn't really play the things that are supposedly their big things you know as Megan pointed out in that recent event at the variety uh, magazine thing where she trolled up and down the uh, carpet where the woman tried to hoof her off like one of the Muppets you know if you remember she said to the reporter oh we've got several things in the pipeline and I can't wait to share them with you well one which was announced with a great fanfare only a few months back now August was the meet me at the lake remember the novel that's now been dramatized allegedly by Netflix. Now, there was a big thing of how, you know, Harry and Meghan had bought the rights to the book. They don't own the rights to the book. They belong to Netflix. The only thing that Harry and Meghan were allegedly going to be doing was being executive producers and sort of being used as, you know, people to hook the PR on, as ever we have to say allegedly. Think, you know, shots on set of Madonna pointing a finger while pretending to direct, that sort of thing. But Netflix and their bosses, of course, were stunned to find that this wasn't included on their website. As far as they were concerned, this was still very much an active production, even though I can tell you nothing active about it. Nothing has really moved forward from the casting right through to locations to any sort of plots. The usual dedication to the arts that Harry and Meghan possibly give themselves. You get the picture. Now, it's going to be very tricky for Netflix because obviously when you think about it, this was billed as their very big thing. Now, I could be wrong, perhaps, both parties are playing very, you know, close to their chest. Maybe they want to make this huge, big announcement. But the very good source that still works at Netflix says, no, nothing's actually happening. And they were very, very concerned that this wasn't trumpeted, literally, on a brand new website that millions of people were going to see, hopefully, around the world. So, has that now bitten the dust like 40 times 40? As ever, it is a developing story. When I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.